Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll be discussing about propagation constant, attenuation constant and phase constant of transmission line. In my last video, I have derived transmission line equations. If you have seen that video, then in that I have derived transmission line equation that is d square v by dz square is equals to r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c into v. And this is similar to wave equation and if you compare this equation with wave equation you will be having propagation constant and propagation constant will be square root of r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c right so based on transmission line equation one can identify propagation constant let me note it down first propagation constant is square root of r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c now with this propagation constant we have two components one is real component and second is imaginary component see real component is alpha and imaginary component is beta see this real component that explains attenuation so alpha is attenuation constant and imaginary component that explains phase constant so based on transmission line equation one can identify propagation constant that is a combination of attenuation constant and phase constant see with transmission line equivalent circuit i have explained there are four components resistive component inductive component capacitive component and transconductive component if you observe this gamma that is based on r l g c see here with transmission line loss is happening because of resistance and transconductance so for lossless transmission line value of r and g will be zero so for lossless transmission line r and g value that is zero so based on that if you want to calculate propagation constant then gamma will be square root of r and g that is zero so you can say square root of zero plus j omega l into zero plus j omega c now here in square root we have j square omega square lc so you can take j common at output side and omega that will be there over here and inside square root we will be having l and c so you will be observing propagation constant that is j omega c for lossless transmission line so based on that you can say for lossless transmission line attenuation constant alpha that is zero and if you talk about phase constant then phase constant beta that will be omega into square root of lc right so that is how lossless transmission line is there i have seen few students were asking me some questions related calculation of propagation constant they were been asking me to derive equation of alpha and beta but let me tell you one thing see derivation of alpha and beta that is not that much essential the reason is based on propagation constant we can directly identify those values using calculator so you don't need to go for that derivation as it is not that much essential but still if you want to understand those equations then let me note down those equations which are there for alpha and beta alpha value that will be half of g times of square root of l by c plus r times of square root of c by l if you do calculation of this gamma in terms of real and imaginary component then you will be getting alpha that is real component and that value will be this only and imaginary component will be phase that is beta and that value will be omega into square root of lc into 1 plus 1 by 8 into r divided by omega l minus g divided by omega c square so these are the two equations by which you can directly identify alpha and beta but let me tell you one thing you don't need to remember these equations based on gamma you can identify real and imaginary component and based on real and imaginary component you can identify attenuation and phase right usually students are using these equations they used to remember these equations and based on that 
they try to solve the questions but as and when you remember these equations at the time there are higher chances of making mistake the reason is these equations are a bit complex one right so what i suggest you is you should calculate gamma that is square root of r plus g omega l g plus g omega c and from this equation just separate real and imaginary components using calculator and real component will be resulting into alpha and imaginary component is resulting into beta in next coming videos i'll be solving few problems where you will get to know like how to have a calculation of real and imaginary component and based on that how to identify attenuation constant and phase constant right here let me explain one more thing see here if you want to verify this equation then you can verify it from this equation itself where for alpha and beta calculation if you consider lossless transmission line then value of r and g that will be zero right for lossless transmission line value of r and g that will be zero so here i have said alpha will be zero and beta will be omega c into square root of lc but if you substitute r and g zero in these two equations then you see what will happen alpha will be c g is zero and r is zero so zero plus zero into half that is resulting into zero so you can say this equation is correct and in equation of beta if you place r and g that is zero then this term will become zero one plus zero into omega into square root of lc so beta is omega into square root of lc that is how directly you can verify these two equations even but see direct calculation can be done using these two equations but these two equations are complex so i recommend one thing to you see you will have to understand this equation that is quite simple and in majority of questions we will be using this equation only i will be not using these two equations as these two equations are complex so solution of problem that will be done based on simple equation of propagation constant that is square root of r plus g omega l into g plus g omega c where real component is attenuation constant and imaginary component is phase constant still if anything that you would like to share just note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video